Hi everybody, this is CT Readings and this reading is going to be for Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon Rising and Venus Signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you guys. It's going to be for Taurus. It's going to be for Taurus. Taurus, let's see what do we have for you. What do we have for Taurus? Taurus, you can check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with how are they thinking feeling about you their next moves towards you outcome of the situation between the two of you advice oracle messages love notes messages from the universe for you as well as any other guidance that you can apply to anything in your life actually so do check that reading out it will be linked below wow okay the ten of cups wow all right so happiness expansion joy um this is also giving me an energy of coming together and celebrating something so maybe there's a sense of victory right now you may have achieved something you may have uh it's it, they're telling me you may have reached a, a milestone okay so this is a very happy and a very happening energy okay i love it let's see what else do we have for taurus what do we have for taurus what do we have for taurus the hermit okay so i am getting a vibe here that you are focused on yourself okay um it looks like you are celebrating something but your focus is not entirely on the out outwardly or on the outward okay on the outward inward outward yeah on the outside okay um i do feel like there's something that you are thinking about there is something you're contemplating on okay um there is a sense of victory. There is a sense of happiness very, very strongly. But I see you thinking yeah, with the high priestess. So we have Virgo and Pisces energy. Maybe you have that in your chart. Virgo and Pisces are opposites. So what I'm getting here is that I feel like you're working on something. This could be a, a, a work-related project as well. Um, Taurus, it could be anything i feel like you could be learning something new as well but i feel like this is this is giving me a hint that this is about you know a very deeper level of understanding you know coming from a place of a deeper knowing okay trusting your intuition that is interesting Let's see. Very focused on your money. Very focused on perhaps your happiness with the sun energy. I feel like you have decided to drop something. Okay, you have decided, you have decided to let go of something. And I really don't think that you have made this decision overnight. You have contemplated. You have thought about it okay so this is a decision that you have made from more so you know a rational uh state of mind and you know with a higher fun energy so you're doing what you believe in you're doing that you're doing yeah you're doing what you believe in and you your focus is a lot on your happiness you know i i apologize i'm running out of words right now but i'm really getting this vibe here that you're working on something there is there is something you're working on this is like you know improving your work situation your study um something i see you improving on okay this could be in any department of your life actually improving yourself you know whatever it is um but it almost looks like you have set yourself free okay you have given yourself that freedom and it also looks like with the ace of pentacles that there is a brand new uh, opportunity coming your way taurus this talks about a new opportunity um 
a stable opportunity okay and this has a lot of uh potential of growth actually this ace of pentacles energy okay let's see what do we have for taurus Knight of Swords. I did see the Knight of Swords before as well, but I didn't pick it. And now the universe is like, take it. Okay. So I feel like this is a very go-getter type of an energy. You are going after your dreams. You are working on yourself. You're working on, you know, things that, you know, make you happy. However, one thing I feel like you have to be careful of, Taurus, is your impulsiveness at times. And, you know, not giving something a fair chance. Because I feel like... There's something that you get, you know, of course, you're a Taurus. And I feel like uh, I'm getting a very Taurus-like vibe from this card, by the way. See? This uh, bull. If it is a bull, I do not know what animal is that. But I feel like, Taurus, your mind is getting fixated on things. And you have decided to not be a part of a certain situation. And you don't really care what the other person has to say at this point, okay? It's like you have decided to walk away and you're going to walk away no matter what, okay? However, I feel like this person is coming towards you with this energy of I really want to work things out with you. Three of Pentacles and the Devil. This is somebody not giving up on you. This is somebody very fixated on you, actually. Okay, maybe you have recognized that there is something very toxic about this connection, all right? Uh, you have perhaps tried to walk away from this person several times and it has not worked out. So now you're like, you know what, I am going to focus on myself because the situation has not worked out for me anyway, okay? I am getting the King of Cups. Yeah, there has been a, there has been a huge um, disappointment in a love situation here, okay? Let's see. Damn, they have made this card like so scary, like the devil card. Why have they made it so scary with, oh my goodness, I've like, I, now I'm looking at it, you know, I'm focusing on it. It's so damn scary. Carry like what the fuck is that why do they have to do that like it, it looks like a whole like a horror movie like in a cod i did not like that <laughs> but i love horror uh, movies actually i do but i do not watch them at night <laughs> then what's the point right i don't know Comment below, what is your favorite horror movie besides the point, okay? Taurus, come on. We can have a little chit-chat at times. It doesn't always have to be about your reading. I mean, it is, but... Anyways, let's see. Tell me more about this energy. Exactly what I thought, okay? So this is somebody not giving up on you. This is somebody who can be a little bit controlling at times. This is somebody who likes to control the outcome of the situation, okay? So it's like you're deciding to walk away, you're deciding to focus on the new, and this person's not having it. This person's not having it. This person also admires you, and they're telling me that maybe they talk to other people about you. Okay, so there's somebody um, they have uh, discussed you with, okay? Let's see. The judgment. Yeah. Taurus is like, I have decided, I have made up my mind. And if you can't make up your mind, it's your problem. With the Four of Swords and the Tower. I really don't see, uh, Taurus, that you're willing to go back to the old patterns because you've already chosen the path of healing. And yeah, I really don't see you wanting to go back. I, yeah. There is a big change on the horizon for you, actually. 
They're telling me that this is something you're not seeing coming. Taurus with the tower energy. Death and the Ten of Swords. All right. So something has come to an end. And whatever has come to an end is not really coming to an end. Actually, it is a new start. Okay. Let's see. The signs that are here are Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have a lot of signs in this reading. Do check out the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with Taurus. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next, look at that, reconciliation. Their next moves towards you. Outcome of the situation, advice, or messages, love notes, and guidance from the universe. Now, with, look at this reconciliation energy. Someone from your past is coming back. Is that not what I thought or actually what I told you? Okay. They actually, look at this. This person actually refuses to give up on you. They're refusing to give up on you, okay? They're refusing to let you go. All right. And um, one thing I'm also getting is that ever since you've stopped talking to this person, they've gone nuts, okay, over you. All right, ever since you've made that decision to walk away, this person is like, how come Taurus is walking away from me, you know? <laughs> Let's see, what are the love oracles saying for you? The dragonfly, see, lighthearted, finding out things. You're focused on your growth, you're focused on your expansion, you're focused on yourself, you know? We've got time for this. Who's got time for this? Yeah, so I feel like in the past, you would always be the one to take things forward with this person, but they would run away from you. And now I feel like you're running away from this person to focus on your happiness, your expansion, your joy. You know? Look at this. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking. So this person is looking at what you're doing. This person is keeping tabs on you. They're wanting to know what you're up to as well. You know, what is this? What is this? <laughs> so that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for you, Taurus. I hope you got something out of this reading. If you did, do give it a like. Um, subscribe to my channel um and when you subscribe hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever i upload you can check out the extended version of this which will be linked in the description box for you guys take care and bye bye bye, -bye.